Painting from life is not my favorite thing to do. Getting the model to stay in position, especially if one of them is a dog, can be a challenge. But to attain the status of a master portrait painter, it is a skill that I must conquer. The model I'm working with today is my son Jack, who is a firefighter, and our adopted dog, Max. In setting up my scene, I wanted to have a firelight glow coming from behind Jack on the left. To achieve this effect, I taped red and yellow cellophane across the front of my light box. I first had only the red cellophane, which gave me more of a pink glow, but putting the yellow on top fixed that. On the right side, I had a plain, soft white light. This attempt at painting from life came about when I decided to join the Oil Painters of America's virtual international wet paint competition. There were some amazing prizes to be awarded, but this was not my driving force, especially since this is not my strength. But I wanted to join so that I would be forced into painting from life. Once completed, my award would be a sense of accomplishment and another step toward my goal. The competition allowed for two days to paint, but my model had only one day to pose. So I completed my painting in one day. It was about six hours. Now, looking back, I should have opted for a head and shoulders portrait minus the dog. Also, opting for just a head and shoulders painting would have allowed me to use a much smaller canvas, not the 30 by 36 inches one I had. Welcome to my channel, Shelley J. Cox. Come along with me on my art journey. Let me point out some pros and cons to painting from life versus painting from my own photos. First, I have found that it takes much longer to get the initial drawing correct, sometimes 30 to 40 hours, as compared to working from my own reference, where I have had time to study it, usually a couple days prior to starting the painting. Though, so those first 30 to 40 hours are whittled down to about 20 hours and lead me to discover way more information than just the initial drawing. But we've all heard it, drawing from life will make us a better, stronger artist. Before I continue my pros and cons, I wanted to give those of you who have not heard of Oil Painters of America a little background. It's a nonprofit organization working to preserve and continue the tradition of classical representational painting. Their members receive several benefits to help them grow and become exceptional fine artists. OPA was founded by Cheryl Smithson after witnessing that American education was moving away from teaching the techniques and traditions tied to representational painting. Okay, another pro of Painting From Life is that you have all of the information right in front of you. Everything you need to know about your painting is right there for you to see. Now, you just have to take the time to see it. And I don't know about you guys, but when I'm Painting From Life, I get a little nervous and I feel like that I rush myself. And I know that's just me internally. I shouldn't listen to those voices and I should just slow down and take my time. But with the advancement of the digital cameras, our digital photos up to date are so much better now. We have such great color accuracy and you can finesse the settings of your camera to really get the information that's inside of the shadow areas much better than you used to be able to with the traditional photography. Painting from life has been a long-standing tradition. It's been going on for hundreds of years. But as technology advanced, artists like Norman Rockwell began to embrace it. Once the perfect photo had been selected, Norman Rockwell would project the image onto his canvas. I believe one of the things that made his painting so wonderful was Rockwell's ability to set up his scenes using people from his own neighborhood or family that really helped him tell the story that he was painting. Even casting himself in a role if necessary. If you're liking the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. And join me on this art journey by subscribing to the channel. When you're working from life and you're setting up your model, a lot of times there's some creativity that can happen unexpectedly. Maybe it's the way your model positions herself just naturally the way she sits, or there may be a lighting situation that you weren't expecting that's a uh, welcome surprise and you want to add that into the look of your painting. And 
And so this can also happen during your photo shoot while you're setting up the model. The increased creativity can happen, uh, the lighting, the way she's sitting. But then there's also some further advantages with doing a photo shoot, like for instance, capturing unusual perspectives or action from your model. Toulouse-Lautrec, one of the impressionistic masters, was really good at this. He would often use photography to capture unusual perspectives and dynamic movement in his paintings. It's thought that painting from life can help improve your studio painting. So when working from your own reference photos, you're taking some of the lessons that you've learned while painting from life, uh, which could be uh, increased brush stroke use, more painterly styles can emerge out of painting from life because you're forced to edit and deal with quickly changing lighting situations or the movement of a model. And those things can improve your brush work and the ability to capture life in your subject. And then that can be transferred over into your painting sessions in the studio where you're working from your reference photos. Another thing about painting from life is having to deal with the time schedule of your model. And also, you've got to give your models breaks like every 20 to 30 minutes. So after the break, then you have to reposition the model and get them right back into that exact position that you had them in initially, or as close to it as possible. So that's something that I prefer not to have to deal with. So when you're working from your own reference photos, of course, that's on your own time. You don't have to have conversation or worry about the model moving and things are just on your own terms when you're in the studio that way. And it just can be a more relaxing painting session for me. I feel a bit nervous when I'm painting from life and that I need to engage with the model. Whereas when I'm in the studio, I don't have to worry about that. Really the biggest plus for me from having the photo session done is being able to put those photos up in Photoshop and take my time investigating the colors, the values, uh, the compositions. I can move things around, crop things differently, and really play with the, the composing of the painting. And I love being able to test out some of the colors and kind of nail that um, color palette to the side of my reference photo like you've seen in some of my other videos. And it's so nice to be able to take your time and investigate the subject that you're going to be painting before you start painting. But regardless of how uncomfortable it makes me, I will continue to throw in a live session of painting from time to time. Okay, here it is, a look at the final painting, Man's Best Friend, painted entirely from life. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.